customer. So um, welcome to Quantum Creativity TV with Cesarina and Santari. Um, it's Cesarina Trone broadcasting live from Cincinnati, Ohio. And um, today Santari could not be with us, but I have, um, uh, I'm here with a very special guest. And um, as we're uh, connecting um, this morning, um, here I am in Cincinnati, Ohio, and all the way from London, UK, um, I want to welcome uh, Kojo Jantua. Welcome, uh, Kojo, to Quantum Creativity TV today. I'm very thrilled to just have a conversation with you about um, your body of work and what you're doing in the world right now at this moment of amazing transformation. So welcome. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, and greetings from London. Uh, thank you, Cesarina and Santari, for uh, having me again. Well, this time around on a on the visual, yeah, uh, rather <laughs> it's nice. that's right. yes, excellent. Yeah. So, um, yes, um, yes, good to uh, good to see you again. So, what? Uh, yes, let's get on the journey. Yes. What's, what's the what is what is this journey all about? Um, I know that um, um, one. I mean, remembering uh, it's been maybe a year, year and a half ago on the radio show, on the Quantum Creativity radio show, you spoke um, about your powerful life journey back, goodness, um, when you were 19, I believe, um, and how you your trek through Sahara Desert really brought you to who you are now and what you're doing. So um, for our um, audience who is who might be That's watching right. here soon um, on uh, YouTube, I want you to be able to um, share a little bit about how that journey started or what you remember that was powerful that brought you to this moment. Indeed, indeed. Yes, so uh, the journey, the journey back to you is uh, what I call, or the work, I mean, which is, which is basically, basically based, on, based on seeking identity, mm -hmm. you know, identity, life, purpose, and destiny, mm -hmm. and, and of course, it's all started. Well, it started before that, but it took me across the dangerous uh, Central Sahara Desert mm -hmm. uh, towards you know from south to north. Actually, legally, you know, because there are a lot of illegal immigrants doing it to Lampedusa, <laughs> <laughs> to Lampedusa, you know, across the Mediterranean, and and obviously, I avoided doing yeah. that, and and I flew from Tripoli. Got a visa, flew into Europe, into Germany. So, so I am one of the few people who've done it legally. Yes. So I try to emphasize that. Yes. So, um, yes. So I was saying the uh, the journey started a bit earlier. Obviously, our journeys of life start when we are much younger. But mm -hmm. what I found out was at the critical ages of nine, between nine and twelve, mm -hmm. is when we make our decisions about what we're going to be mm -hmm. in the future. When we grow up, when yeah. we grow up, we're going to be a fireman, you know, we want to be a policeman, we want to be carpenters, and we want to be lawyers or doctors and so on. So um, at that, around that time, I remember that uh, I had got into an identity, some form of an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. And because at the age of 11, it's when uh, my mother and my grandmother Mm -hmm. Sat me down and showed me, showed me information, photographs, and my birth certificate, my birth name, original birth name of this biological father. Mm -hmm. You know, because I had grown up with uh, my stepfather, who was a diplomat. Mm -hmm. So I started my early life in Tel Aviv, in Israel, mm -hmm. you know, during the Six Day War. So my memories of childhood was war and chaos mm -hmm. in the country where jet fighters, you know, seeing jet fighters through the window coming back from bombarding mm -hmm. the, the enemy forces, you know, during that brief uh, six-day war, yeah. June 1967. So, obviously, in a different country, mm -hmm. uh, born in Ghana, going there in a different country, in a territory, had to get used to all that, and then chaos, mm -hmm. and then coming back to Ghana again, and then now discovering that this man, who is a politician and barrister, lawyer, wanted me to come and live with him and his family. Mm -hmm. So again, always getting trying to get used to new environments yeah. and so on. So the identity issue becomes pronounced. Mm -hmm. Obviously, as or we when we're going through our teens, 
we all go through that anyway in some form. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, mine became pronounced. So I made a decision, I remember, that uh, when I grow up, I'm going to try and help people get through mm -hmm. their identity situations. Mm -hmm. You know, So uh, obviously, environmental chaos mm -hmm. in Israel, war. Mm -hmm. So I was interested in how does war, war's peace, how is peace made? Yeah. So that's how I ended up uh, doing going to the Diplomatic Academy of London to be trained as a diplomat. So, and um, at that point, around 19, too, I discovered that at the funeral of my mother's father, my grandfather, mm -hmm. where there were a lot of lots of light complexioned people, because he had lots of children. So, um, I found my mother's uh, relatives. You know, when I asked her, I was a curious kid myself. Mm -hmm. And I asked her, well, how come they're all like complexion? And she said, oh, uh, her grandmother, my great-grandmother, had a Danish name called Augustine Sveistrup, mm -hmm. you know, which means her ancestors came from Denmark or Scandinavia, somewhere in Scandinavia. But they didn't really know a lot about him. Yeah. You know, so, But I had a hunch then. Yeah. And that's where the belief in my inner voice yeah. comes in, because that's a key feature of my journey, you know, the trust. Definitely. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. So I left. I had a feeling that one day I was going to go to Scandinavia and meet relatives, you know. So um. So I just took off, and took a map. Mm -hmm. That oh yeah, across the water, across the uh, Sahara, and so on. Europe. That's Europe over there. And uh, I'll just go on my journey of leaving home and basically getting free from all that identity stuff and getting something different. And I always felt that I was going to get back to Tel Aviv, Israel anyway, because I'd left a lot of my friends behind, my toys behind. Yeah. It was just like this yeah. you know, teenager idea. Our attachments, our mind's attachments to what we have and who we are, exactly, yes. Exactly, all that. So that's, that collectively, I, yeah. I left and went on this journey, which was very dangerous. And then the Sahara itself survived it because you get dehydration, mm -hmm. it just uh, takes life out of you. Yeah. But then the breathing, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're told by the guides, the guide in French, yeah. you know, the, the breathing is important to keep moving and keep mm -hmm. your breath mm -hmm. and so on. And, and for that stayed with me up till today, mm -hmm. you know, and the inner voice, you know, you, because all you have is your, your, yourself and your heartbeat yeah. Yeah. and your survival yeah. and so if you don't do that that's it yeah. you know? so you treasure the importance because there's lack of water mm -hmm. lack of the pleasures the food yeah. you know friends family you know so it's about survival and so the breath became a point of uh, survival for yeah. Me. yeah and 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 with that too there are lots of coincidental, so-called coincidental meetings, chance meetings mm -hmm. happening on the way, up to taking me to Denmark, you know, which mm -hmm. happened years later, but it, it continued. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and that's what, what I uh, try to share in my workshops, mm -hmm. our identity, about the importance of mindfulness, mm -hmm. you know, and, and our presence. Yeah. It's important for us to be present, to mm -hmm. connect, yeah. With ourselves first, yeah. you know, because when we connect with ourselves, we're connecting with the other, yeah. you know, because we are all one, yeah. you know, <laughs> and, 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 and that, you know, sometimes it's, it's saying it, it feels like it's a cliche, we are all one and so on, but yeah. in reality, yeah. just the thought of that mm -hmm. gets us in, con in a deep connection mm -hmm. with ourselves and, uh, and others, yeah. and, and, and then Things wonders happen. Magic, magical things happen. Yeah. Using your word, magical. Yes. You can your word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, I just, um, I was, I am absolutely fascinated with how you are able to, um, which is the power of who we are and our energy and 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 our physical uh, life story. Uh, there is your physical life story, your true story of literally trekking through Sahara to find your identity, find yourself, and then you took that 
and, and translated that into a body of work to help others. So you took the metaphor, you didn't just take the memory of the powerful uh, journey, like you said, the mindfulness, um, of really looking deep within oneself, yourself, to um, connect first to that which is uh, alive in you, which is connect, which is the whole universe in one person trekking through Sahara, and then you took that farther um, and realized, my goodness, my journey is everyone's journey to, in some to some degree, and how could I translate that now into speaking, being, um, gathering with people around that whole idea to to allow themselves to whether they have gone through Sahara or not, which not everyone gets the opportunity, you know, to have that huge transformation like you did. Um, not everyone gets the opportunity like I had um, a few years ago to live in uh, not far from Ghana in a different country in West Africa, in Niger. So, you know, how could other people who haven't had the chance to live in Africa, to understand the magic of what you're speaking of, uh, which I know, I, I feel, I feel the pulse of it because of my own experience, how could they connect deeply, uh, well, through stories? Um, we're all storytellers, we all have new stories to tell, sto old stories that resurface. So here you are, um, tell us a little bit more, Kojo, about how is that translating in, in um, now in the work you do, because I know you've got different um, speaking, um, uh, you know, lectures and, and speaking engagements and events, and a whole website that we could share today with our uh, um, audience. That's right. Yes, so Cesarina. Yes, as you, I mean, you said rightly. I mean, yeah. uh, Niger. Even Niger actually is right in the middle of on the on the path, the path across the Sahara, because Agadez, a lot of the people migrants go to Agadez, which is in, in Niger, yeah. and I avoid, I, I, in my first attempt, there were two attempts, I was going towards Agadez and, and then returned because I needed to, my papers were expiring and I needed to do the right thing and renew them. And that's why I successfully crossed into Europe because I had the right papers with me. <laughs> that's right. So, um, yes, and, and then I went through the Mali route, the Mali to Tamaraset mm -hmm. from Kao the Tamaraset route instead. Now, um, so it's twofold. Uh, firstly, is uh, the this this feeling that doesn't leave you or doesn't leave one. Or if you talk about people who go through that journey, I mean, who survive it, mm -hmm. you know, the, it stays with you, mm -hmm. and and it can that journey the effects can use you. Or you have to use it as a as a stepping stone, you know, to 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 make it useful because the trauma of it, you know, it could be it can be a traumatic experience, yeah. you know. And I know a lot of people who have heard when I share with the people that they know people who have been through it and who haven't come out mm -hmm. well at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Some have taken to drinking, to drugs, and so on, mm -hmm. you know, to just numb that it's memory. Great. Escape the yeah, Escape. The, um, yeah. yeah, that's right. You know. The whole transformation, that's, exactly. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So the transformation, you know, the transformation, the rebirth and the birth, the, the rebirth, the death and rebirth mm -hmm. of this experience in itself, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, can yes. uh, one one has to be conscious of it. Yeah, you know, it's about the consciousness. Yeah, conscious, being conscious of the transformation. Yeah, you know, but then. It's a long process, and the second, that's why I'm coming to the second bit. Yeah. The second bit, the storytelling bit of it, is a natural process which has been even couched in, 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 in myth, you know, in mythology. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right from ancient times up till now. Our stories, are, there's a single story yeah. which some call, you know, archetypally, uh, called the hero's journey, you know, yes. the hero's journey archetypes and, and Joseph Campbell who was a who was a guy who an American who uh, who lived and I think he he died around 1984 so before I went I went to the Sahara in 1985 January mm -hmm. and, and he found in his research this single story and steps but when I stumbled on his work I realized that that was I found myself in it mm -hmm. I found myself in that structure Mm -hmm. That he's he, he he told that he 
he, he plotted or, or found it's the phase twelve phases, you know, which again you start you start somewhere, you, you have you call the ordinary world, which is home. Mm -hmm. Where you are home or you are in your base or you have a, you are somewhere needing change. And then you get onto the call to adventure, meaning you have this feeling that something has to change mm -hmm. in your life. You know, so I'm now trying to explain uh, why others too can mm -hmm. they don't have to go to the Sahara. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have to go to Niger. Yeah. You know, but they can still benefit from your story and my story. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's something like it's, it's a psychological mm -hmm. situation that we all go through. Mm -hmm. And that's why our identity, we're all one, in mm -hmm. effect, mm -hmm. you know, right. So it starts with the ordinary world, we are home, mm -hmm. you, then we got heard this call, things have to change, we're now have comfortable with it, things have to change, and then we have this call to an adventure, this is the call to adventure. Mm -hmm. So we attempt, say, all right, we're going to change this, I'm going to diet, mm -hmm. New Year's resolution, you know, I'm going to diet, I'm going to do this. But then shortly afterwards, we drop all those ideas and fancy ideas and plans, you know? Yeah. Normally, you know, something just, we don't follow them up. Why? Why do we have all those New Year's resolutions and not follow up on it? Mm -hmm. Well, psychologically, fear gets in. Mm -hmm. Fear kicks in quickly because of the change. We're changing from one situation to another. Yeah. You know, we, we, we're breaching the comfort zone. Bridging the comfort zone, you know, so that's that fear thing. We need to deal with the fear. So that's where we call that the refusal of the call for mm -hmm. adventure. That stage, mm -hmm. the first stage, right? And then what we need is normally something needs to come in, sometimes externally or internally, to to help us to overcome the fear. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a meeting with the mentor, a human being, an old lady in the village. Yeah. An old man, an aunt, you, Cesarina, and both of you, your show, listening to your show, you know, could assist people from mm -hmm. overcoming the fear mm -hmm. to g give them courage mm -hmm. because it's a courageous journey into the next phase of commitment. So we call that commitment stage the crossing the threshold, right? Yeah. After they've overcome the fear yeah. with the help of the mentor. And then quickly, I'm just going to go through them quickly. Sure, sure. Yes, and then the, uh, quickly we come to, we've overcome, we've committed. Mm -hmm. I got, I committed, I went to the first uh, attempt, came back home, mm -hmm. then went back again, and then got committed, ended up in Mali, mm -hmm. that's commitment because I'm not out of my home, Ghana, mm -hmm. you know, and then very soon you have to, what you do is you get a new job, you got to see who are my friends, who are my allies. Who are my enemies are in the new job environment? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that too is key, and that's the test allies and enemy stage. You know, you got to yeah. find figure all that out, and then quickly once you figure all that out, you now have to get to you are approaching your ordeal because there's got to be a major test exam mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you got to go through to get transformed, to cross your bridge to go to where you want to get to. Mm -hmm. And the approach period is like approach and preparation for your ordeal. Mm -hmm. So mine w was around Gao, you know, meaning even in Gao we got chased down by some guy in ropes and so on, yeah. because we were, you know, all the all sorts of as you know in that that area region, you know, and because we are not we didn't look Muslim and we are you know, from a Christian background and so on, we looked strange in the in the town and so on. Even now, I don't advise anyone to go around there because it's really dangerous. You know, there's some wars. Mm -hmm. the, the wars in Libya, you know, it all just spilled over mm -hmm. into Gao and Mali. Anyway, so quickly the ordeal. That's the Sahara stage. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the Sahara stage, which is my uh, ordeal, and everyone will go through some major ordeal, which is going to transform us because part of us has to die for the new part mm -hmm. to wake up. That's the transformation. And then we get our reward. We are rewarded for going through all that trouble. Mm -hmm. you know? And when we get rewarded, <laughs> then we have to decide to get back home, you know, to get back with whatever we got, information we got, learning we got. What treasure we found along the way. <laughs> Indeed. Know? The treasure we found <laughs> along the way. And then with the road back, sometimes you need deadline. If it's a book that you're writing, 
you need to set deadlines because mm -hmm. a writing journey in itself or making music yeah it's a it's a journey so you need to set deadlines to finish to get back home yeah. but then we mustn't get complacent I'm not coming to the last uh, but one stage we mustn't get complacent because many a time when we facing a goal and we're just about to achieve we finalize mm -hmm. things go crazy mm -hmm. yeah we drop the ball mm -hmm. why because sometimes we get complacent and mm -hmm. thought, oh we're there we're almost there mm -hmm. yeah, it's called the resurrection so that's the final test where we got to die one more time finally mm -hmm. it's more the cleansing stage and the purification stage mm -hmm. whereby all the lessons we've learned up to then Mm -hmm. are reviewed. It's an opportunity to review our lessons, cleanse ourselves of the, purify ourselves mm -hmm. of the old ways and fully embody the new ways and then get down to the home straight into the final stage which you're now returning back with with, this, with something, with the thing you got. Mm -hmm. Then the returning back has to be to share in the form of a story, in the form of a uh, a TV show that you're doing now, mm -hmm. you know, on your journey, you know, you have to come and share with the community. Yeah, that makes us to the journey worthwhile. Yeah. yeah, and and you said it right because um, that's it. It's where is our community? You know, we look around uh, these days, and if it's not right around you in your town, in your village, in your city, because of you know the distractions and the pull and the pressure of today's modern pace of life, um, then you have to remember that um, your community is everywhere. So here we are, we're actually bridging our communities around the, across the world uh, from Europe over to US right now. And right. whoever's listening is that easy, you know, you connect in so many ways with the technology now and you have to embrace fully from the heart your story, your return home, like um, Kojo just said. Um, and your community, Kojo, our community, you know, is starts with ourselves and seeing how large, how big our, you know, energy and our reaches just by having this ability to, to, you know, it's so fascinating to me this morning, I'm here, still dark outside, I get in front of this laptop and I stare in the screen and then I connect with you and there you are, almost, um, you know, it's noon your time in, in UK and it's morning, night, you know, still very early here, five hours apart and we're bridging worlds as we connect and talk about something transformative, you know, that, um, that just brought us to this moment. And I want to share with our, we still have about seven more minutes in our um, conversation here. I want to try this uh, screen share and, and uh, see if it works for us. I think it will. And um, show uh, our listeners, if are looking on the screen right now, show them that there is this um, website they could go to to read more about your journey, read more about what you're doing. Um, and it's www.saharacoaching.com. It's, it's beautiful how you took this journey uh, at age 19 when you know you saw the power in it um, you saw all those elements all those steps of the hero's journey and you are able to now have everyone looking at the website have everyone looking at these 12 stages of the change of the transformation of the journey and ask themselves some questions some meaningful questions where whether they are trying to find where they are in their journey where, whether they're trying to get hope and excitement because maybe they're right at that point at the end before the rebirthing like you said when they're ready to give up but they shouldn't give up because there's more um, whether they're finding their mindfulness and all of this like you That's said right. breath how simple is to remember the breath in a powerful time such as this by the way because we're living in powerful times now with changes and transformations and our Sahara Desert is right. our uh, is is literally our life situation right now. So mm -hmm. whether you are um, in your uh, Sahara Desert, I'm just gonna go back to my um, whether you are in your Sahara Desert here, um, you know, in your life situation or uh, crossing like you did, it doesn't matter because what's really happening is 
uh, like you said, Kojo, is find that sense of self, find that sense of, um, um, you know, of where you are supposed to be right this moment. Indeed, indeed, yes, yeah. Yeah, it's about yeah, finding, you know, just believing in your goal, yeah. setting your goal, taking off, yes. uh, getting, a, getting a mentor of some, mm -hmm. some sort, you know, and just persevering and getting determined and going yeah. moving step by step in yeah. the moment. You know, and it works out. Even the fear itself, if I may address fear itself, yeah. is the demon, the dragon. It's actually within us. It's not mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. You know, it's more in our minds. Yeah. And when, when we take the step, uh, minute by minute, hour by hour, mm -hmm. we really find out that things happen to actually help us, support us, to get mm -hmm. to our destination. Yeah. So it all works out. Yeah. Yes, that's that's so I'm gonna give them um let's give our um our um guests, our audience the website one more time. Um so they can connect and maybe you could share for the next four minutes or so how um you know you've been doing your work, you know, um in London and, and what your vision is of sharing this powerful work yes yeah, so basically my my duty is to is to to share to report back as it were you know mm -hmm. and and the way I do it is through stories to I'm a certified professional coach mm -hmm. so I do group workshops live and online mm -hmm. and then one-on-one -on -one coaching um, you know, for people who want more, mm -hmm. want support, want me to be their Sahara guide, yes. because I had a guide <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> in the in the metaphorical Sahara yes. desert, basically yes. as Cesarina has always rightly put it. You know, it's more the metaphorical. I'm just using a metaphorical story, yes. but then it happened in real reality for me. Yes. You know, so I had a guide, a guide, you know, yes. a, a Tuareg. <laughs> you know, and they say the Tuareg say the desert, you know, is a reflection of the soul. Mm, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's what they say. You know. Saying yeah, that indeed. indeed, you know. So basically, I'm just I can be the guide mm -hmm. to take us through the journey, which has been validated by Joseph Campbell, and actually is found in our numerous movies, story, stories, storytelling from Hollywood and across the world. Even across around the campfire, yeah. so around the fires of the Sahara, where we sit around in an oasis. So I'm like your oasis, where you can come and get refreshed yeah. for your journey ahead in whatever situation yeah. you find yourself. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, so I'm I'm so thrilled that you. This is very timely. You know, there you are speaking of the Sahara Desert journey at age 19, and and uh, of course speaking about the journey of everyone uh, listening and watching um, their journey back to their own self, to their That's own right. magnificence, to their own power, and how Sahara represents. Any life situation and the guide, like you said, the guide, um, you know, is whoever uh, shows up in that desert for them. Uh, in this case, it could be you because um, you've been there. You could guide them with simple steps, very practical. That's what I found in my journey in Africa, and as I lived there for three years. Um, That's right. It's it's very practical, very powerful, very beautiful, and um, you know. And it's it's very uh, enlightening at the same time because we think that um, something that's transformative and powerful like that, you know, it has to be some some huge. It doesn't always have to be a huge manifestation Indeed. journey. You're right. Yeah, it can be very very. It could be my journey from home to the grocery store, and in that, within that half hour of me getting there, getting what I need, and coming back home, I could have discovered new layers, new me new versions of who I am. That could be my Sahara journey. And why not? You know? And that's where creativity comes in. That's where um, awareness, like you said, um, yes. comes in. 
Well, yeah. indeed, it is quantum, quantum creativity. We create. We mm -hmm. find ourselves creating in a quantum way. Mm -hmm. I mean, beyond our imaginations, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's all about self-awareness mm -hmm. and being in the moment and being mindful, mm -hmm. you know, of the moment and the presence, yeah. you know. Because and and you know, you know, the dangers of, for instance, uh, crossing from a uh, uh, Tamara from a uh, Tamara set Janet to Gat, mm -hmm. which was walking, trekking, because it was a mountainous terrain. Mm -hmm. Walk for over a week, you know, without water, and we had to. The key thing is, you had to shed our baggage, mm -hmm. baggage or rucksacks or whatever. You had to shed all that before getting on that trek. Wow! You know, and that's just metaphorically, we can Beautiful. relate it to our busy world where we all, mm -hmm. you know, grabbing, grabbing, grabbing material things in mm -hmm. in our uh, the yeah. metropolis of this. Uh, <laughs> Of this world, Paris, Rome, London, yeah. uh, Moscow, yeah. you know, Lisbon, you know, yeah. everyone is like, yeah, we all want this grab, 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 yeah. and we're not really yeah. connecting with one another. Yeah. You know, this is it. We need to shed yeah. before getting on there to get connect with ourselves, and that's where we even we connect in a quantum way yeah. beyond our imaginations with, yeah. with each other. That's why we get more, we gain more yeah. than yeah. than those little things that we're grabbing and. Yeah. You know, fighting each other about. Yeah, beautiful. So I'm I'm gonna for one more um, second here. I'm gonna give the website out. Um, if you are um, yes writing for anyone listening or watching, um, it's www.saharacoaching.com. Very easy to remember because Indeed. it's a memorable. <laughs> you know, not 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 many people I know. Um, apart, I, I don't know anyone else besides Kojo who has crossed Sahara. When they were 19, so it's easy to remember. Hey, there's there's that man who um, who sort of uh, inspired me by his journey. And you go to SaharaCoaching.com, you read about him. Uh, his name is Kojo John uh, Jantua, and um, it's just um, wonderful to have you share this. And I'm um, looking forward to connect and continue our conversations. Um, yes, and, and thank you. And then, if I may share another, yeah. secondly, you can get on there too with www.identitypathfinder.com. Oh, perfect, perfect. Because that too is the title of the website. You will see Identity Pathfinder. Yes. You know, and I know they can connect with you on Facebook, and they can connect. There's a blog, I believe. Of uh, they can click, click on visit the blog as well. Oh, okay. connect on Facebook. Join the group on Facebook yes. called What Color Is Your Apple? What you color know? is your apple? There apple. You go. <laughs> because, because I was I worked that that name why because I worked I was, I've been asked several times because I worked on an apple orchard in Benghazi Libya wow. to save money to continue so yeah. and that that place was a place of reflection for me after the yeah. desert crossing yeah. so I say what colors your apple ask my oasis yes. you know this personal yeah. oasis yeah and then uh, Tuscany I must mention Tuscany because. <laughs> this summer in Tuscany, there's going to be a very magical uh, uh, retreat there. Yes, yeah. And uh, that to check yeah. on that too, guys, and and, yeah. and enroll and get yeah. there. Yeah, um, we're hoping Koja to join us. Um, it's www. dot mystical Tuscany retreat. dot weebly. dot com. So if you're interested to check that out, we're gathering and forming communities all over the place, aren't we, Koja? So. Um, it's it's a thrill, a delight to be with you today. So thank you, and um, just have a, a magical, magical uh, rest of the week. It's um, Wednesday, so it's the mid of the week for all of us. Um, and um, this was so inspiring. Um, I'm hoping that everyone watching um, later this um, this hangout with you and I are going to really um, tune into the power of this journey. And really make it their own because that's it. That's that's the idea. Make it your own. So. That's right. Thank you, Severina and Santari, for inviting <laughs> Thank you. me, and uh, for everyone else listening. And 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 just uh, if you want uh, to experience it, just invite me to a talk, yeah. to a seminar, or yeah. coaching, or just hanging out. You can hang out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just hang out on Google, just like we are doing. Just Indeed. it's time to share. It's time share. to be. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Well, um, beautiful. Thank you. And uh, we'll say goodbye for now, and uh, we'll see you soon enough. <laughs> goodbye. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. And enjoy your days. Yes. Enjoy the weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.